Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Travis and welcome back to another daily Q&A. So today I want to address a question or I guess a comment that I got in the last video regarding starting the 300 gallon with tap water. Now, uh, I'm going to go into some pros and cons on why you might consider doing it and some things to think about if you decide, you know, that that might be something you want to do. Now, first things first, why would you want to start a tank with tap water? Well, if you have a 300 gallon tank, do you really want to run an RO filter for 300 gallons of RODI water? Uh, depending on your setup, I know that I run dual membranes, so I kind of cut my wastewater in half, but generally it's like four gallons or three-ish gallons uh, to every one gallon of RO water. So you're using a lot of water, so do the math, you know, 300 gallons, so on and so on and so on. So you're, you're using a ton of water just to fill this tank up when, uh, depending on how you set it up and kind of if you cured your rock or not, it's probably not necessary to waste all that water. And that's exactly what I was thinking when I set this up. The rock was already cured for three months and I was thinking, you know, hey, it's tap water, I'm gonna fill it up, get it filled up relatively quickly, get the salt in there, not only to uh, you know, get it done cheaper and quicker, but also because I want to save the beneficial bacteria that's currently in the in the rock. As I mentioned in the previous video, I I cured that stuff. I I cured it and then I aquascaped outside the tank and put it in there. So of course I wanted to fill up relatively quickly to kind of save that uh, bacteria from dying off. And I already knew I was going to wait at least a month at minimum to uh, you know before I started putting like, fish and coral and all sorts of things in the tank. So. I figured that would be plenty of time for anything that might be dirty in that higher TDS water uh, to be processed out with the nitrifying bacteria and, and go from there. And it worked out just fine. Uh, I filled it up within a day. I think it took maybe, I did use the small line out of my setup there. So I did go through the small RO line, but it filled up in about three or four hours. Good to go. Added the salt, added the heaters, and then everything just kind of did its own thing for, uh, for about a month. So. Uh, it worked out for me, but I will say if you have a smaller tank, say sub 50 gallons, um, you know maybe you don't want to start the uh, the tank with tap water just because you know it is a smaller tank. Uh, you could possibly w just wait for the RO system to do its thing and to fill it up over time. Again, that's going to be on you and what you want to decide. But uh, that was kind of my reasoning behind doing it. So hopefully you guys understand. Now, when it comes to some pros, as I mentioned before, uh, it fills up quicker. Um, if you have a relatively clean water. I do have city water here. It, it's usually under 300 TDS. I know that things can fluctuate depending on the season, uh, just because that's just, just the type of water I have. Um, so if you have relatively low TDS, uh, then you should be good to go. But if you're upwards of like 600, 800, some of you guys are saying you had really, really high, almost 900-ish TDS water. I mean, I don't know what you got going on. I mean, it, it's your city, your well water. But uh, either way, uh, starting that stuff with lower TDS water, I don't feel is going to be an issue as long as you have uh, you know, beneficial bacteria, cured rock, and all that kind of stuff that can process those extra nutrients out relatively quickly. Now, of course, adding carbon and, and a skimmer and having all that stuff going helps remove out anything that might be in the water. Um, so that's always something to consider doing as well. So that's kind of my overall thought process when it comes to using tap water. I think if, if you are uh, I wouldn't say in a rush, but if you have a larger system, I think it's totally okay to start with that as long as you do what I mentioned before, curing your rock, you know, maybe consider using carbon, skimmer, all that kind of stuff. Just making sure you have uh, the systems in place so that that, that dirty water uh, doesn't negatively impact your setup. So um, other than that, I really can't think of anything that would be negative. I mean, if you have really, really dirty TDS, then don't do it. Uh, if you have relatively lower, like sub 300, then you should be okay uh, if you have a larger system. But if you have a smaller tank and you can wait for the RO system just to do its job, you don't even have to worry about it in the first place. So that's really my thought process when it comes to using tap water. I've used it on several different systems, on the 300, a couple 125 setups before, no issues whatsoever. But again, I didn't just put the tap water in, add salt, get it to temperature and then start adding fish and coral and all that kind of stuff. I waited at least a month at minimum for the tank to kind of get its groove and its cycle and, uh, and then I went from there as normal. So that's it guys. Hopefully that answers the question, kind of addresses my uh, thoughts and what I think is appropriate when it comes to tap water. If you want to add anything or you have any experience with tap water in your setup or your systems in general, uh, let me know and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace.